All right, it's time to get this piece ready to be painted. So first off, I gotta mask it off. Infinite Rider, Infinite Rider, Infinite Rider, Infinite Rider. So if you're wondering why I'm using aluminum foil, it's because it's an easy way to stop paint from getting on areas you do not want painted because the paint won't go through it and then you just rip it off when you're done and it's super easy. So all I got left to do is tape these pieces right here off and then we will get the paint ready to go. Well, no, I got to sand it first. now we just scuff the surface a little bit so that the paint will stick and what I'll be using it does not need a lot of scuffing I'm pretty sure y'all are like oh my god you're destroying the Memphis shade but if you don't scuff it it won't stick So I got the air compressor filling up, but I gotta wipe some of this dust off of the part. Then after that, to get rid of any contamination, I usually just wipe it down with some alcohol. And alcohol dries like immediately, but if there's any type of high gloss residue on here or wax or anything like that, it helps eliminate that so the paint or the coating that I'm using will stick now this ain't the ideal temperature to, to paint actually because it is like 55 degrees and you want to try to paint when it's closer to 70 but I don't have that luxury so what I'm gonna do is get it painted and get it inside and sit it in front of the heater right away and we should be good all right that looks pretty good pretty solid i actually see a shiny spot i want to hit that one more time right there and just wipe it off and because of what i'm painting it with small minute dust particles and stuff yeah ain't gonna really matter too much all right just want to make sure it's on here enough to not be touching the ground so that i mean to be touching the table so i can get all the little corners covered just touching on that side it's not touching on it here let me try this raise it up a little more Okay, that's better. Let's get ready. All right, that was the test panel. Now, Let's go to work.
So now I give it a few minutes to dry. And I look over the part to see if there's any areas that I might have missed that I'll go back over when I shoot it the second time. Doesn't look like it is. Looks pretty covered uniformly. Could be done at this point, but I always like to put two coats. So.